Everybody, if you're not tuned in right now, you'll probably get the video after I post it. You get to view it, see what I'm talking about. So, unfortunately, I just found out today, earlier today, that Nipsey Hussle was murdered. And it wasn't by your average nigga. Even though the news will have you believe that it was, even though the media will have you believe it was, it was not an average, everyday, regular street nigga. Anybody who's been in the streets, anybody who shot a gun, been shot at, knows motherfuckers who shot guns. It was not a regular street nigga that shot Nipsey Hussle. It was not a regular person that shot Nipsey, okay? First of all, anybody who knows what happens in the street when you shoot a gun, that a regular nigga shooting a gun is not going to shoot that accurately, Anytime we know of a regular black dude getting shot in the street, a regular white dude, whoever gets shot in the street, it's never that accurate. They at least make it to the hospital. It was a government job. It was an industry job. It's apparent. It's obvious. They didn't want that man to make it to the hospital and possibly survive. They wanted him dead on the scene. And then it's easy to blame a black man for this murder. Because we kill each other every single day. Minorities kill each other every single day. It's easy for the government, it's easy for white supremacists to blame a minority for a murder on another minority. You cannot be black with that much power. You cannot be black and speak that much positivity into the world. You cannot be black and have that much street credibility and speak that much positivity in the world and do that much positive and that much good. You cannot be black and do this. Not in this government. Not in this world right now. Not while white supremacists are in power. You cannot... Be certified in the streets and in a hood amongst your peers. Change your life around and try to teach other black people to make money. You cannot do it. It's a death sentence. If they can't plant some criminal shit on you, they will murder you. Not even, they won't even take the time to try to plant shit on you to get you locked up. They'll just straight up kill your ass. Think about it. Think about all the good this motherfucker, let me not say that, think about all the good shit that Nipsey has done for the, his community and other communities like his community. Building businesses, building up equity in the hood without gentrifying the hood, black owned businesses in the hood, then hiring black people to work in those businesses. The government can't allow that. The government can't allow that. You know why? Because it makes it harder for them to destroy the people in the hood. Right? It makes it harder for them to destroy the people in the hood. Think about it. When they gentrify a hood, what happens? The rent goes up. The mortgages go up. Taxes go up. Everything goes up. And you cannot afford it. So what do they do? You all get crammed into one project building, right? Like sardines. But, oh, there's limits to how many people could live in that household, especially because most of y'all have Section 8 or on assisted living. So there's a lot more restrictions. Think about it. What he was doing was bringing money to those living in the hood. So now when Whitey comes to come build in the hood, they... What's the point? We don't need your businesses. We got our own. We feeding ourselves. He would have built another Black Wall Street. Right? And, oh, let's not forget. He was doing a documentary on Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi found the cure for AIDS and many other illnesses. But the main one that's important in the black community is the cure for AIDS. Dr. Sebi had to battle the courts and he won. 
He proved to the courts he really found the cure for AIDS. Dr. Sebi found the cure for AIDS. I repeat, Dr. Sebi found the cure for AIDS and Nipsey Hussle, right, was about to do a documentary on this man. We hear about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. every year. When we go to school, we do reports on him every year. Not to say he's not important. But we're not allowed to have any new black leaders. And every time we do, they get murdered. We're not allowed to have black power. We're not allowed to have black positivity. Dr. Sebi cured AIDS. They don't want a black man who cured AIDS. They want to put a white man in the in the forefront of the cure for AIDS. They want a white man to look like he cured AIDS. Black people have invented everything in this country, on this planet, prior to a white man doing it. Every invention on the face of this mother effing earth, except for if it has to do with war, a black man has created and the white man is taking credit for it. Every medicine was at one time created by some black culture prior to the white person taking credit for it. Insulin was created by black people. Y'all didn't know that, right? A lot of people don't know that. You know what they say. To keep anything from a black person... You put it in a book. And the motherfuckers was right. Put it in a book. The book we read every day, right? That our grandparents read every day. Our parents read every day. We read here and there. Our children probably won't read at all. The Bible. <laughs> Information about us is written in that book. We don't even know it. Because we don't read it. The pastors don't read it. They skim through it and read us bits and pieces. And then entertain us with a bunch of shenanigans. The book links up with the history books that these motherfuckers wrote. Have you ever noticed when you read your history books? There's a big piece missing. There's history for a whole bunch of different colored people. But then there's one group of people that's kind of left out a little bit. But y'all don't even notice that there's something wrong with that picture. I noticed it when I was in school. Why the fuck do I know about Rome, but I don't know about people that look like me? Why the fuck do I know about uh, Greece, and I don't know about people that look like me? I don't want to know about these motherfuckers. The only thing they teach you is your ass came out the woods and you was throwing spears and you was butt ass naked. Right? They don't tell you the Native Americans is you. They don't tell you about the the, the real Jews is you. They don't tell you about the the, the 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 Egyptians is you. They don't tell you about that. They don't tell you the Israelites is you, the Hebrews, they don't tell you that shit. You know why? They don't even tell you about them in those books. You know why? Because they're you. They tell you bits and pieces about the Native Americans because it's you. They leave that part out. The Aboriginals, the Olmecs, they don't teach you about them because it's you. They don't teach you about the Egyptians that much. They teach you about the pharaohs, certain shit. They skip through some shit. They skip over the parts that involve the Israelites and the, the shit that... Think about it. The Bible mentions the Egyptians. The history books... Proves the Egyptians were real. Mind blowing. The Bible mentions Romans, Egyptians, Greeks. Three cultures that were proven to be real. The Babylonians proven to be real. But the Israelites can't be real. Oh no wait. They were whitewashed. But then they're not written in their history books. There's a reason why motherfucker. Because it's you. The government lies to you. They hold you down. It's called white supremacy, but motherfuckers ignore it because they want to be friends with whitey. You cannot be friends with your captor. You cannot be friends with your master. You cannot be friends with the person that puts you in slavery and persecutes you. They don't want to be friends. 
They'll go as far as to brainwash their own people to brainwash your ass even worse. Nipsey was an intelligent man. He had street credibility and he used it to wake motherfuckers up. That documentary would have destroyed the government. It would have destroyed the matrix that they got you motherfuckers locked in. Think about it. Any black person with a seat of power or wealth, especially when it's independent wealth, they die somehow. Any black person that creates a positive image for black people or helps black people, teaches black people how to make money, they end up dead somehow. Publicly dead right in front of us and we're too dumb to fucking notice who's really doing the murders. Think about it. And they mask it. And they're getting worse at masking it too. They're getting worse at it. They mask it as another black killing. And they're getting worse at it. How, how much you want to bet either they're going to snatch up some random black guy or it's going to go unsolved like Big and Pop. Mm. Got you motherfuckers thinking, don't I? Think about it. Pac, dog life. He was a genius. He's the fucking, the, the blueprint. One of the blueprints. Oh, wait. No, this is Malcolm X too. But as far as what we know as heroes, as far as rap, Tupac's the blueprint for masking woke shit, right? Conscious shit as hood shit because that's the only way you motherfuckers will, will, will pay attention. He has to spoon fit it to you with ignorance. He's the blueprint for that. Nipsey was like the second coming to Pac in a way because he spoon fed you Woke information, spoon fed you conscious information, wake your motherfucking asses up with ignorance. He had to mask that shit. There's no reason why we should have to do that for our, our black people to blow up and become mainstream. He would have brought conscious community to the mainstream. Have you noticed there's a divide between the mainstream and the conscious community? We have the conscious community fame on one side, and then we have mainstream fame on the other side Nipsey would have blended the two right Pac was blending the two with Pac's thug life movement and his information with the Black Panthers Pac talking about Whitey there was multiple government attacks on his life multiple where is he at now either dead or hiding out somewhere Right, multiple attempts on his life, and all he had to do is mask it as a black man to do it, and all of a sudden, is everybody forgets that Whitey's been trying to kill him for the longest time. The, they forget the fact that the police tried to kill him, and he shot their ass.